<laughs> oh no 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 i don't know where we're going welcome back everyone Grogen here and today we are back with some more the beast inside now it's been good so far we've defeated the first boss we've been doing a few puzzles we've been scared a few times and we have just reached chapter six so it says the judge tried to strangle me and he would have succeeded if it wasn't for the man in the top hat and the mask he killed judge norton right in front of me he cut his throat it looks like he was trying to save me but why so yeah we just um went into some building I can't do it on my own. and uh, so some guy blood. got killed in front Dear of us god is this one of the guests i don't know go get someone he'll bleed to death press on the wound i'll get help the janitor is upstairs room 207 where are you who is this easy don't try to get out that looks like a ghost on the floor no one will ever talk me into a mountain trip again there he is looks like that missing fellow the detective showed guests his dagger a type detective you mean how weird is this up walter gilman holy mother oh, of God. <laughs> i have to telegraph the sheriff no this man needs a doctor uh, are we watching like I've ghosts yeah wounds like this it's only a matter of minutes i'm sorry sir. someone's dying these voices <laughs> there's so many of them wait wait i i think i've heard this conversation before Those okay people, they said that a certain detective walter gilman who was walter gilman if he was interested in missing people from the area he might know something about my father's disappearance as well Maybe at the reception desk I can find out his room number. Okay, so to the reception desk we go. So we're looking for a room number. It looks like that door handle's flashing over there. Can we press the button? Dingy ding, ding, dingy thing. Right, lift that up, and we're gonna go into the it's doorway. The janitor who usually kept the reception keys in room two o seven. So we gotta go and see the the janitor. Oh god. Well, that was a bit early for that. <laughs> room two o seven. Well, we're not going up them stairs. Oh, so that's just opened up for us, hasn't it? It's like someone's just let us in. Room 207 we're looking for. None of these I've got. That one's locked. That needs a key. That one's blocked as well. Someone doesn't want us going in these rooms, do they? Oh, who's that? I'm not alone. Not alone. We want to follow him or go? Let's try this one first. We can't actually go in this one. Right, what's this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a, we let the match. <laughs> God sake. The page left in the Bible. Was it left here by one of the guests? Guests? Nothing on the back. Right, can we examine you? No. Right. Do we need to find any more kerosene? These are locked, these. There's some matches. Yep, kerosene. Some knives. Nothing in that one. Or oh, that one. That one's still locked. Shut the drawer, try this one. We've got to look everywhere, haven't we? Because we're going to need some stuff as we go. Oh, what's that? More matches. We can light the candle. Can we light this? No. Would have been good if we could. All right, there's nothing over there. We're going to go and follow the creepy guy now. Do we want to? Do we want to? He's going around that way. Right. He doesn't seem to be going anywhere until we do. So we have got time to look around. We can see outside a little bit. Window is locked. We're going to be locked in, aren't we? We're going to be locked in and we can't get out. Right, can we light that candle? Oh, lovely. We're lighting the place up as we go. Was there any on this wall? It's empty. It's empty. Right. There is some on these though. Get these lit. Some of them are already lit. It's another doorway. A letter on the table. Oh, matches. Oh, and we found more kerosene than something else there. Two bottles of kerosene. There's a ladder. Doesn't go up to anything, though. Candle. I wonder if there's an achievement for lighting so many candles. Oh, <laughs> it was trying to light it and we picked it up. What do we got on the wall there? Just some old creepy people. Right, he's gone upstairs. Got more matches. Get that one lit. 
Don't even want to turn these corners. Right, he's lit that one for us. Uh, that's locked. God, who is, who is this? this? What is he doing here? <laughs> who is this and what is he doing here? Right, what's this one flashing up for? This is our little map. So 207 is the one that we want. Where are we? Where are we? Have we just come up this set of stairs? Oh, you can't see that, can you? Can we point that way? Have we just come up that set of stairs in the far corner? Or this set here? I don't know. He should all be numbered though, shouldn't he? We come up a set of stairs in the middle, but that looks like the door we need. It says it's locked, but it's letting us Damn open it. Chain. We must have our bolt cutters still. Ah! <laughs> Oh, what's that? A saw? Maybe I could use it to cut through the chain. Maybe, but let's just go. Oh. Right, we can't go in that one. Let's just have a quick nose down here. So there's more doorways we can open. Nice. Nothing in there. What's that? Oh, we can open it, but there was nothing in there. Nothing in that one. Not in that one. A couple of briefcases. There's a chest that we can open. There's don't think there was anything good in there. Oh, what the hell is that? A letter. A letter from one of the guests. I can't recall ever doing such a thing. Why would I have why would I disturb the guests? I was well aware that if I did something like that, I'd get locked up in the dark for days on end. Right, we'll take you. Nothing. Nothing. Bit more light. We open this one? We can. There's nothing in it though. That's already lit. More matches. Oh, we turn the candle off. Have a little look down it. We haven't been down this way, have we? No, definitely not. Did we just see something go past the window? There's something weird going on. Something definitely, definitely weird going on. Right, so we're in another room another creepy room what's that in there loads more matches the chest but we can't open it or nothing oh we got a bit uh, muddled up with that then that one's locked that one's locked what the hell is that <laughs> oh, she just pulled us down. What was that? I wasn't ready to come down Where yet. Did it try to drag me to hell, maybe. To hell. <laughs> what have I gotten into? I don't know, but you're here, so make the most of it. There's a cross with the trying to hold away evil spirits and stuff. What the hell is the noise? Search quick, search quick. Locked. More kerosene, another candle. More kerosene. Nothing, right. You hear them noises? Oh, there's a save icon. Why? Right, do we want to try this door first? That's locked. So, we are going... Something to do with that. Like you. Someone knocking. What did we just do that for? Oh, so we can climb up there. Ah, nice. Alright. So, off we're going to go. Was that someone knocking on the window, maybe? What the hell well, is this? Looks like... A slaughter. Good God. Something's is, wrong here. Is he only just noticing something's wrong here? I'd better grab that tool and get out of here. A saw like this can be used to cut through all sorts of metal objects, such as chains and padlocks. Okay, so we take you. In the janitor's room. There's some lights on. Right, more kerosene. And a note on the table. 
Opal, a magazine for psychiatric patients. Is this a psychiatric place? No, it's an inn. A magazine created for the patients of a psychiatric hospital. In many such places, patients could not even dream about such amenities. They get fed pig's will and tied to their beds. Many don't survive their stay. And the ones that do are never free, never really free men again. It should be considered great luck to get ever get out of such an institution. All right. Can open now and get some matches. Right, so can we get out this door? Oh, we can chop the lock. <laughs> That's cool. There we go. We're out of this one. And we're going to try and go through that one. There we go. We just dropped it on the floor. Does that mean we're not going to use it again? There's someone in here, though. Like that. Some of these boxes have got to have something in, right? Who knows? Who knows? Ah, we found more kerosene hiding behind the bed. Do a little clock. I don't know whether I need that little light out here or... Or if we're going to be okay. Right, we light you. Poor soul. He spent most of his life here and after death he's still the inn's janitor. He's still the what? Fraternity. I can't open this one. And the guests, from what I can see, are sure to cause trouble. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. What are we seeing? The so is he dead? That he was just talking about. He starts talking about him before we even seen him. There's something in that one. And that one, nice. Okay, so that looks like. Yeah, I knew he was going to move. I knew it. Okay, let's see what the letter says. The janitor's notes. I feel sorry for that poor wretch. He took to drinking to keep himself sane. I'm afraid I might end up like him if these ghosts don't leave me alone. There's something on the table there. That's a key. Wing, one, wing B106. I'll be used to access room 106 and the hallway leading to the second wing of the inn. What we'll see. What the hell? This place is falling apart. All these are locked. Oh, we can go outside. No way are we going to walk across that ladder. <laughs> In the rain as well. Was This is where we went past before. Oh, so that's how we got through. No, this isn't where we were before. Unless someone's blocked that off. What's this? Kerosene and a bit of wood with another key. Ah, oh, nice. A key to wing A. We'll take that. Ah, shit. <laughs> Is this a ghost? Or did, did I completely lose My it? God, that scared the shit out of me. All right, get some lights on. Do not open. I kind of want to listen to that. <laughs> right, we can push you down the stairs. Do we want to open that door? Have we got a key for it? Oh, that's a code. And there's a note. Looks like the janitor had a serious problem with one of the guests. We're going to have to read this one. Fucking weirdo wants to blow me up. I managed to subdue the bastard and lock him in one of the rooms. May God watch over you if you ever need to enter B-Wing. The combination to the padlock is anger. Uh. Uh. Anger. Oh, where was already on E? Don't open it, but he leaves us the code. Makes sense, right? Why is that music like that? Right, we got another map with something there, but I don't know where we are. Right, 
Right, we can crawl through there, but before we do, we're going to go and have a look downstairs. Because I feel like something bad's going to happen up there. Oh, where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, this is where we started. We went that way. We haven't been this way, though. Nothing. Really, really don't like that noise. Sounds like there might be a dead body. Can you hear the flies? You know what that is? That's like a little ashtray thingy. Okay, so there's another room here we can get into. That's locked. They're locked. And they're glad sometimes when things are locked because it means we haven't got to look through them all. <laughs> Alright. I keep thinking we've been in these rooms, right? And then we get to them and I'm like, nope, definitely haven't. A doctor's business card. It looks like a business card of some doctor. Rotate to find a hidden message. Soon before the accident at the mine, the relations between my father and his associate became very strained. George was terrible, was irritable because of the stagnation of their business. And for some reason, he seemed to blame everything on my father or me. I might have been insuffer an insufferable brat, I can't deny that, but he kept calling me a lunatic and saw my innocent pastimes as deranged. Is it possible that he brought a psychiatrist all the way here just to get rid of me? Or maybe it was about some other boy? Okay. They're empty. Hey, okay, what's that? Can I see in? A little candle. Chest that, that is locked. Hey, okay, so that's this. Ah, shit. God's sake, game. Oh, we can unlock this one. Here we go. Next creepy room. Right, there's something in there. What the hell is that? Pyrite lump. A lump of pyrite from my father's mind. Some call it fool's gold. But it's brought considerable wealth to the Hyde and Whitehead families. No clues. Stop examining. So, uh... What the hell? You like that one? Yeah, we can. And that one. I don't know. It doesn't look like we can get through there. So we probably got to go up in that room now, right? I don't think there was anywhere else for us to go. This is the what I don't want to do. What I don't want to do. Right, that looks like we got to pull it somewhere. But we got this. Why is that flashing? What have we got to do with it? Can't see anywhere to climb up. Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. There we go. Let's just check these doors. Probably locked both of them. Yeah. Alright. Whoa, what the hell happened to you? Told you it sounded like a dead body. A soldier's letter. Christ, that madman not only stole a Union soldier's uniform and murdered three innocent people, but also planned an assassination of the president. Thankfully, he's dead now. But who might have killed him? So... The Union uniform was just a disguise. It's all getting more and more mysterious. Look at that. <laughs> this must be what that disturbed janitor was writing about. That's oh, grim. Died a long time ago. Well, let's hope so. That one's locked. Got a candle lit. Check the drawer. Matches. 
Is he still there? Yeah. <laughs> right, nothing in there. Okay, we got. Oh, is that them vines again? It is. Hey. Okay. These damn roots again. They seem too tough for me just to break them. I can't deal with it with my bare hands. Okay. I need some kind of sharp tool. Oh, where's he gone? Oh, no. What? <laughs> couldn't just get up and walk away. Oh, hello. Let me we, go. We knew Help. that was happening then. We knew Help. it. I will relieve you of your life, you Yankee bastard. You can't stop the He's got a bomb in his hand. We can make papers lie. Hey, might want to run. <laughs> You gotta be quicker than this. Oh, you weirdo! <laughs> well, we got our shears and a few body parts as well. Unless the shears didn't blow up. Hey, right, there we go. Let's get through that window. Like creative this little game though, isn't it? It's good. Uh what way? Not down there. We could get onto that roof maybe. Can't get in that one. Up this way. Oh geez. Alright, alright. Things are okay. I don't think... There's only been one thing in this game so far that could kill us, hasn't there? Oh, is that where we are? The red thing? I don't know where we're meant to be going. Search George's office. I don't know which one his office is. Oh, no. We're just going to keep going. It seems to lead us in the direction we've got to go anyway, doesn't it? We'll try this one. Oh, we can, we can lockpick this one. Here we go. We're in. We're in. Is this going to be his office? Oh, God. You were supposed to check every possibility, Norton. You're a judge, and you should know how to bend the law without breaking it. The contract states you can both hand over your shares without each other's consent. I'm sorry, George, but you signed it yourself. I never thought that bastard would try to outwit me, and that his demented spawn would sneak into the mine. What do you expect? The brat cannot inherit. We have to persuade that old fart somehow, or we'll end up with nothing. Okay. Did that really happen? Did they plot against my father and me? It sounds like. Hey, right, candle. Not getting any of them. Or oh, them. I think a lot of this seems like it's going to be locked. It's going to be sort of important somewhere, though. There we go. Set of keys to access the reception. And rooms 107 and 208. All I have to do is go back to the reception desk and find Gilman in the guest registry. Gilman in the guest registry. Okay. Let's finish looking around this, though. We've got more matches there. Another candle. Search the reception area. Right, we've got to get down there first. Just going to be something else here. Okay, that's that one. Another note. Newspaper clipping. Wednesday, September the 13th, 1854. Blackstone, New Hampshire. Monday, September the 11th. The sheriff issued an arrest warrant for a Jacob Hyde, a mine and inn owner. Hyde is accused of murdering Judge John Norton, who badly wounded passed away upon arrival at the inn. A $500 reward is being offered. Okay. Story is coming together. Another one. Judging by the description, Henry seems like a typ typical melancholic, but I wouldn't jump to conclusions to say that he must have committed suicide. Too many people have gone missing in these parts, but certainly not all of them were overly sensitive. Oh, we've got to go back to the reception. 
Oh. Um. I think we're just running. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, I didn't see that coming. Load last checkpoints. All I have to do is go back to the reception desk and find Gilman in the guest registry. Yeah, easy, right? So we're not going down them stairs. There's a guy with an axe down there. We're gonna go right here. This way. Oh no. I don't know where we're going. I think we're locked in. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Are they still following us? <laughs> God sake. Right, I think we're okay. I think. Which room did the detective stay in? I don't know, but I was just scared the shit out of me. Ugh. Staying in room 203. 203. That's upstairs. Oh, great. <laughs> it looked like he never checked out. That's for room 202. Oh, blazes. The key for room 203 is missing. But maybe. Maybe I can get there from room 202. Yep, sounds about right. Let's find out how much Gilman knew. Nothing in these. You might notice them a bit quieter because they're just probably like nearly had the ass sack. Oh. Is that where we just come in? No, can't be. Someone's bricked up the door though. Oh, yeah, it is. What the hell is happening? That's the weirdest game ever. Right. Windows banging at an horrible noise. Right, we just had another little save thing. Normally something bad happens when that happens. I don't want the lights off. I need to hide. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's locked. Oh, so we gotta have to wait for him to walk back. From two oh two, I can easily get to the next room. I need to know how much he has found out. Right. When he goes what way? I'm going. Where are we? Two oh two. Are we there? On that little red arrow. So 202 is where? I'm hiding. <laughs> He's gonna find me. He's gonna find me. I see the lights. I don't want to go out. I think I'm in the right room, but I don't know whether we can. Oh, nice.
I don't know whether we're going to have to find something really quick or we're just... I don't know what I'm looking for. I think this is where we were meant to go. I think. I'm not sure. Right there, locked. This is so nervy now. It was all right. There. Oh, shit. Gentlemen, open the door. We need to talk. Just you and me. Greetings, Mr. Hyde. Cut the pleasantries. I know what you're up to. Mr. Hyde is in oh, Jekyll and Hyde. Hyde know why you're so upset. I really... You aren't the only hack who thought he could sniff out a scoop. But I'm not looking for a scoop. I just want to sort this out. There's something unsettling going on in this charming little corner of the world. So many people have gone missing, including your friend, Judge John Norton. I want to find him. Please. That's my sole motivation. You can shove him up your ass! <laughs> You want to prove I'm responsible for his vanishing because you're just desperately looking for a story that will get you publicity. The word publicity sounds strange, coming from someone specializing in sweeping things under the rug. Two years have passed since the incident in the mine, and many things still remain unclear. People lost their lives. Many others have gone missing since, and you act like it was just a minor incident. It was an accident. A tragic accident that cost the lives of my employees and ruined my business. That's all. Oh, I'm afraid that's not all. Ever since then, people have gone missing in the area. Many people, even guests of this establishment. Enough! I want you out of my inn by tomorrow. Do you hear me? Okay. I hope the detective left something here. There's nothing in there. There's a note on the table. The detective's first note. During his investigation on the missing judge, the detective discovered that people had been disappearing for a long time in these parts. Ever since the explosion at the mine, he began to suspect that the person to blame might be my father, Jacob Hyde. He even visited the mine to look for the clues that would confirm his suspicions. The detective went to the mine that day. Nobody knows if he ever came back. I must retrace his steps. There may still be traces of what happened back then. I vaguely remember the accident, but... Gunpowder barrels? Missing people? What's happened here? My father was a cruel man, I can't deny that. But would he be capable of killing in cold blood? Who knows? I guess I'll have to go down into the mine. Great. I can hear. Heavy breathing. Just great. It's locked. I should look for another exit in this room. Okay, so our new mission is to escape the inn. Hang on, didn't we come in that window? <laughs> that was weird. We know we're going to get chased when we come out of here, don't we? What the hell? Be real. This wasn't all here before. I must have lost my mind. Um, we can't cut them vines because we haven't got the thing for it. This doorway, I don't think we come through here. But we just heard someone banging along this way. Is it only in my head? I'd be only in your head because we're following this trail of blood. And I don't know what's going to be here when we get there. It's locked. Well, we're heading down, which has got to be a good thing. That's got to be the way out, right? Don't think it's that way. I think I'm going mad. I think we're going mad too. Why would you push it when you can just climb over it? Yeah. 
Good, 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 good. Oh god. It's locked and we can't get over there. Oh no, 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 no. Ah. Ah, it's too much panic. <laughs> too much pressure. <clears throat> It wouldn't let me click it the first time. Right, we can do that this time. We're going to have more time. We're going to have more time. I think I'm going mad. If we'd have jumped over that, right, he wouldn't have followed us because he wouldn't have been able to get past it. I mean, he probably would, but not as easy. Not as easy. It sounds like it. Look at the big red line. Okay. Come on, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, no, this isn't the end. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, like that's going to stop him. Yeah, we heard it just break open straight away. Come on, find like a big crevice to jump across or something that he can't follow. Oh, God. Oh, what the hell? What can I say? Did I go the wrong way? No, I can't have. Or can I? Oh, we're not back in the, in the inn and we've got to do that first padlock and stuff again. We can hear him behind us. I see he's there. Ah, uh, that way, that way. Oh god. At least we got no stamina. Oh, keep going, keep going. Run. Which way, which way, which way? Left or right? Left. Right. This game is absolutely insane. How many of them are chasing us? Oh, God. There we go. We're, we're okay. We're okay. He got us. He got us. No, he never. Maybe that was planned. We're going into the old mine shaft. Or the chain tunnel, I don't know. Oh, we fell down a big hole. <laughs> that is the end of the chapter. That is the end of the episode. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Really does mean a lot. Hope you are enjoying the series. If you're new to the channel, if you are enjoying it, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the episodes, hit the thumbs up. Put some comments down below. Let us know what you think. I want to say a big thank you to all the people who signed up on the Patreon and joined as members. It really does mean a lot. Thank you so much. I want to. Um, we've got a Discord channel. If you are interested in joining us, the link is down in the description. Come say hello. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.